Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a quick tutorial and kind of walkthrough of Midjourney's Describe feature. I've seen a lot of people use it on YouTube, but I also get asked often between like friends and family and different people who I know that use Midjourney, how do I do this? And I see the question asked a lot on the internet as well. So I'm going to give a really quick tutorial on how to use um, Midjourney's Describe feature with images um, so you can create AI images based off of images that you already have. So let's head over to Midjourney now. Um, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of stuff. I'm working on a garden planning app, so I have icons I've been generating for that. Either way, we're going to go right into this and start exploring. And I have a new system for making sure that you all can view what I'm working on here nowadays. So the first thing we want to want to do is, first of all, we're just going to... The normal um, thing you're always going to use is slash imagine on Midjourney. That's going to allow you to generate an image. That's what you use most of the time to generate your images. Um, however, this time we're going to use another mid-journey prompt, and that is slash describe. By clicking that, it's going to ask you to attach a file. So in my case, I'm over here, and I am going to just, let's say I'm going to select this WI waterfall. That's a bit um, too big of a file. Normally, it will only let you upgrade, I think, two megabyte files. Um, I have this one here. This is by Basic Apple Guy um, on Twitter. I, but this is a wallpaper that he made. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to go open. And that's going to add that picture in there, and then it's as simple as clicking return, and now it's going to send Minjury that prompt. Now it's going to think about that prompt for quite a little bit, um, and normally what it's going to do is it's going to spit out a couple prompts here for us. So as you can see, it kind of sounds like like a professional mid-journey prompter would do. And as you can see, I have four of them. Sometimes it'll even link in there, like some different artists and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to try and generate this first one. And as you can see, it's going to ask, are you okay submitting this prompt? I go, yes. Um, let's see, I'll try color do number three as well. Um, and I'll see if I like that. And then I'm also going to click this button as well. What that's going to do is it's going to regenerate what it thought of it and give me a couple different options. Now, like everything in Midjourney, it takes a while to load up those images, especially if it's in high demand time. Oh, it's starting there. Um, but now I actually I also asked it for another time of going through it. So I got some other prompts here. Um, I like this first one again, like colorful polygon feel. We're going to go ahead and click one on that and also submit that one as well. Um, and that's going to give us some images. Now at this point, it's just kind of up to waiting for the images to be done generating. Um, if I head back over to you guys, it does take a while. Again, it's mid-journey. I pay for the basic tier of the plan. I get it every now and again um, for one month or at a time. And it works well for when I have it, other than I forget to use it, and then I paid 10 bucks for something I never really use. But um, it is fun when I do have it. So if we head back over, we'll notice that a couple of them are ready. Um, and, oh, I did it again. All right, so here we are. We are back. Um, and let's see some. So this is the colorful background and feel style of pristine geometry. That was the first one. Oh, we have another one here generated. And as you can see, it kind of got the idea. If we go back to our original image, which was this, we can see this first one, it has a lot of lines. This one had a watermark in it, but it definitely tried. And you can see it definitely got that from the image. Now, all it's doing is generating a prompt off of what you, what the image you gave it. Now this one really messed up. It didn't get this feel. This one kind of gives me like a Mexican glass art type um, feel there. Oh, Himalayan art, that's what it came up with. This one here, specifically image two, if I upscale that, that one looks really good and it turned out really nicely. Honestly, even one did too. Honestly, this whole prompt here, this one really captured the vibe of it. It's got the geometric mountains. It's got the circular trees. It definitely tried and it has that simple feel. If I pull the original image up right here, um, you'll notice that it did a really good job on that one. Um, and I think that one turned out okay. If And then the best thing you can do is you can have it go here. And I'm going to um, save that image. And I'm going to save that one into my pictures. And then we're going to go back and I'm going to do describe again. I'm going to upload that one right there. And we're going to just see what it does again. So I'm going to give it its own image back again. And it's going to describe this. And you can do this for as long as you want. Just describe. So ha have it describe an image, generate that image again, and then describe that image you generated. And honestly, by the end of it, you can get stuff that's way off or really good to what you want. It's kind of like playing AI telephone as described by um, Green Skull AI, who's a AI YouTube shorts um, creator. 
And if I go in here, like, as you can see, it gave me another four prompts based off of this. So I'm actually just going to have it go ahead and generate all four of these. Um, takes a little bit each time, but to be honest, it's kind of worth it. It gives you the variety of what it thought of. Um, you really do get unlimited mid-journey um, when you send stuff in. I've never hit a limit before, and I'm even on the cheapest plan. I think there is actually one, but we might hit that in this video. Okay, so I got a queued thing. I've seen that once before telling me that it, my image is queued. Either way, um, that's pretty fun to look into. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let these generate a little bit more. Um, but yeah, just doing this, having it describe an image, generate a couple of those prompts, have it describe that one. Again, playing like AI telephone, it gets kind of cool. We're going to see that with these ones once they generate, kind of just going down the line. I'm not going to go too far. If you want me to go in and just see how many I can get it to generate, I can certainly do that. Um, but to be honest, it's just kind of cool to see what it does. Now, I really like how these ones turned out already. So I'm going to go and I'm going to zoom in for you guys. So, all right, let's see what we got. So we got this first one. Um, this one looks really nice. I really like number two. I'm going to upscale that one for myself later. Maybe upscale number four too. Those one turned out nice. I love this. That one there looks amazing. Right there. I also like number one and number two. Number four looks okay. It's a little bit like wavy and stuff. This one looks really nice. Number two looks amazing. Um, honestly, like that one looks great right there. Um, I honestly like number one also. Oh, I don't want versions one. I want upscale one. Um, I'm going to generate all these upscaled because they look great. And that all came from that prompt there. So looking into this, we kind of learned something here today. Um, Mid Journey's describe feature is honestly, I call it like overpowered because it can help you generate some of the best AI images out there. Now, I should also mention there is a ChatGPT plugin now if you have access to plugins on ChatGPT. Um, that allows you to tell it what kind of image you'll generate. I think it's called like photorealistic. You can install that prompt. You say generate a mid-journey prompt of, and then you describe it in human terms. It'll use ChatGPT to generate a mid-journey prompt for that. And it is scarily good. Like it, I thought I was getting good at generating prompts. I can do pretty decent ChatGPT prompts at this point. Um, I've been doing a lot of work into learning how to do different prompts with AI. Um, but when it came to this plugin, it did amazing. Like I do a lot of really good keywords. I try to craft with it. I do a lot of stuff like that. Um, and it, it did really well, honestly, for being an AI engine and chat GPT doesn't know anything about mid journey. Maybe it knows a little bit, but because it's still capped at that early 2021 phase, it doesn't know much of the modern mid journey, but because of that plugin, giving it that information, telling it how to do stuff, it works really, really nicely. So that's going to be really everything for this video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you want me to upload these pictures, I could probably put them up on Twitter if you wanted, um, or somewhere on my website, but either way, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I will see you all next time. I wear this for today. Be sure to subscribe if you like the video. I have really long outros if you can't tell because I always forget what to say. Either way, um, have a great rest of your day. See you all next time. Bye-bye.